We are going to get started at the front of our mats. Come in at, at the front of your mat and spread your toes wide open. Lift your toes off the floor and you're going to keep them spread open and lifted, which action lifts the arches of your feet off the floor. Roll the shoulders back and down and open the palms of your hands forward. You're going to lift, keep the chin parallel to the floor and take a big breath in as you inhale extend extend the tailbone down towards the ground so you're connecting with your core we're establishing connection with our powerhouse with the core and you're going to stay stay here and release the toes down but keep lifting the arches of the feet lift the kneecaps up and keep connecting with your core as you breathe. You want to connect consciously with the core, with your willpower. Inhaling through the nose, the entire practice is going to be breathing through the nose. Inhalation and exhalation is going to happen through the nose. And feel yourself becoming taller when you inhale. And as you exhale, feel your feet grounding sinking deeper into your mat and again big breath in and exhale allow your feet to sink through the ground one more inhalation slowly exhale and inhale your hands out so the fingertips are reaching away from each other here lift and reach and reach all the way over the head here we're gonna bring the palms of the hands towards each other and spin the pinky in so don't keep them slightly open spin the pinky in which is going to relax the shoulders away from the ears reaching up lift press the palms together and you can clasp your fingers keep the index fingers pointing and reach over to one side look up Come back to center, reach over to the other side and look up. Keep the tailbone tucked under. And come back to center, lift. Exhale the hands over the heart in prayer. One more time, inhale, lift and reach. Make sure to tuck your tailbone under. So this is lower back arching and this is tailbone tucking under so you're going to extend the tailbone slightly down so that you are establishing a core connection strong strong core lift exhale the hands over the heart one more time really elongate feel this elongating your body as you lift and reach up this time you're going to keep your back straight and begin to bend forward with a straight back now as soon as you feel that your hamstrings are starting to get tight you're going to bend your knees and lower down into a forward bend here you can wrap your wrists around your elbows and allow your upper body to rest heavy over your thighs This is your first forward bend and it's a modified forward bend. And you can look over to the right, allowing your neck to relax and allowing your jaw to relax. And look over to the left, shake your head, soften the jaw. Great, bring your hands on your shin bones. Straighten the back, straighten the legs, look ahead of you. And you're going to bring the hands on the floor. Spread the fingers as wide open as you can. And take one foot at a time, all the way back. We're going to take plank. Now, for a lot of you, plank is going to be a modified version of a plank. So you're going to bring your knees on the ground and take the tailbone under and keep the hands shoulder width apart and look somewhere in front of your hands here
holding here, keeping the belly tight. And let's lift the knees off the floor for one breath, full plank. Take your right leg off the floor and step it forward, somewhere in front of the left leg. You're gonna turn onto your left, you're gonna be on your left hand and the outer edge of the left foot with your right foot in front of you and reach your modified side plank. So remember this pose, we'll come to this pose quite a lot throughout the next three months it will become your friend and it will become your favorite pose I promise and reach over the head exhale both hands on the ground and step it back in plank we're going to bring the outer edge of the right foot on the floor right wrist underneath the right shoulder step the left foot in and reach over to this side side plank Really lifting the hips here, tilt the tailbone slightly under and don't allow your hips to drop. Lift, engage the obliques. If you're shaking, that's okay. You're getting stronger. Reach with the left hand ahead of you and bring both hands on the floor and step it back. And guess what? We're gonna repeat the same thing. Take the right foot in front of you side plank on the left side lift and reach and really lift the hips and smile and reach ahead of you really elongating the torso here exhale down and step it back into plank and twist over to the right side step the left foot in and now if you are only on your tippy toes this is a little bit more difficult you can step on your flat foot too and reach ahead of you and keep breathing through the nose release down step it back and now you're going to bring your knees on the floor and slowly with control lower down onto your belly hands underneath the shoulders elbows into the rib cage and come up into cobra. So now I want your elbows to be into the ribcage and bend. And look up, roll the shoulders back and down. Exhale down. And from here you're going to lift and sit back onto your heels. This is child's pose. And you can come into this pose at any time you need to take a break and rest great look ahead of you inhale coming up and now you're going to lower down onto your forearms elbows are shoulder width apart so the elbows are exactly underneath the shoulders and come into a plank onto your elbows you are going to keep your knees on the floor or see if you can take one knee off the floor, maybe the other two. And hold here. Strong core. Pull the belly in. Very good. Lower down. And one more time, sit back onto, onto your heels. And let's inhale the hands over the head. Coming up one more time. Plank. And from here, press back into your first downward facing dog. So, the hands, the fingers are spread wide open. Pressing down into the mat. Your knees can be bent. And you're going to lift your tailbone as high as you can. Keeping the knees either bent or you can straighten them. And let's inhale the right leg up 
and you're going to step your right foot as close to your hands as you can and then you're gonna grab your right foot and bring it in at the front of your mat between your hands press the back heel away from you and hold here high lunge your right knee should be exactly over your right ankle great and come up high lunge from here you're going to keep your back straight and lower the left hand on the floor and bring the right hand up twisting here hands are reaching away from each other and bring both hands on the floor and step it back plank knees on the ground lower down onto your belly inhale Cobra and exhale downward facing dog and take the left leg up and step your left foot in as close to, you, to your hands as you can see if you can bring it in all the way between the hands press the back heel away from you and take low lunge here straighten the back Inhale, come up into high lunge. Exhale, right hand on the floor and spin the left arm up. And bring both hands on the floor and step it back and lower down onto your knees and lower down onto your belly and inhale cobra and exhale child's pose and let's look between the hands come forward into a plank and we're going to lower down onto the forearms and hold here look slightly ahead of you see if you can take the knees off the floor holding forearm plank great lower the knees down on the floor bring your right forearm across from you parallel forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat and and you can come onto your side right foot in front of you left leg on the ground the outer edge of your leg and lift here lifting the hips reach way ahead of you we're already strengthening the core and lower down back to forearm plank and we're going to change sides come onto the right forearm outer edge of the right foot left foot in front of you steps in and reach here and lift really contracting activating the core and reach ahead of you and lower down one more forearm plank and let's bring the knees on the ground and sit back child's pose great look ahead of you coming back up and press back into downward facing dog look between the hands and step your feet between the hands you can bend the knees here either a lot or a tiny bit depending on your flexibility and exhale here in the forward bend shake your head And let's straighten the back look ahead of you straight back and come all the way up to standing exhale the hands over the heart and we 
already warmed up learned some of the foundation poses in interval yoga now we're going to inhale the hands over the head clasping the hands extending the tailbone down and again coming back to that connection to that connection that we're establishing core breath posture clasping the hands reach over to your left and keep everything in the same plane and really lengthen here you're trying to lengthen the right side but you're also trying to lengthen the left side reaching over to your left look up and open that right rib cage inhale coming back to center and over to your right really lengthening both sides of your torso here really stretching this is stretching your upper back as well it's giving your internal organs a nice rinse so to speak we're stretching the kidneys and coming back to center exhale hands over the heart and we're going to go into a pose that will make will strengthen your entire lower body it is called chair pose you're going to step your feet hip width apart and your toes are going to point directly forward so don't point your toes out point them directly forward and uh, as a matter of fact the outer edges of your feet are going to be parallel to each other so this is you're all, almost going to be slightly bit pigeon toed you're gonna keep your toes slightly just a tiny bit in and belly in of course and sit back in a uh, in an imaginary chair and look down lift your toes off the floor and can you see your toes if you can't see your toes you need to bring your booty back so that your knees are pressing back and you can see your toes and look up and sit a little deeper very good breathe and sit yet a little deeper and present is further back and a little deeper and inhale coming all the way up and we're going to go one more time this time you can bring your hands over your heart and sit in chair press your hips as far back as you can and sit even deeper and press the hips and notice where your chair pose is now and you're going to notice how far you've come along at the end of our 90 days how far your chair has how strong your chair has gotten by the time we're done with our beginner series inhale your hands over the head and come all the way up and reach back exhale the hands over the heart and we're going to practice now one of the very important poses in yoga vinyasa yoga and power yoga and this is warrior so for warrior one i want you to take wide stance you will take your right foot back and you will point your left foot directly forward the right foot will be slightly in about 45 degrees to 60 degrees in and you're going to draw a line your heels are going to be along a line they're going to be along the same line so heel to heel same alignment from here you're going to bend your left knee and you're going to rotate your right hip in and pressing that left hip bone back so that your hips are square and squaring with the front wall the wall in front of you now if your hip is slightly open you are going to work over time to just rotate that hip inward and forward so that you can square the hips this requires a lot of work so take it slow give yourself time to get accustomed to all these new to you movements and slowly you will feel and see improvement over time now over time you will bend this front knee 
um, deeper and deeper at first you can be in a, just a slight bend here and just rotating slightly here slightly on the right side lifting the right kneecap now inhale your hands over your head and keep rotating that right hip forward hold this bend the left knee hold it and breathe press into the outer edge of your right foot hands over the heart and you will come onto the tippy toes on the right foot and step this in and you're going to take back the left leg again heel to heel alignment take wide stance here three to four feet adjust it to your height and flexibility level and you're going to close the back foot slightly in 45 to 60 degrees press the right hip back bend the right knee and rotate the left hip forward inhale your hands over the head and over time you're going to go deeper and deeper in this pose but in the beginning you can be having just a tiny bend at the, in the front the right knee and over time just go a little deeper and close a little deeper and close this left hip forward and the hands are either clasping or reaching up pressing into the outer edge of the left foot come on to the tippy toes on the left foot and step it in and now again bend your knees and come into chair sink a little deeper in your chair come up Take a big step back and take warrior one. This time we're going to bring the hands over the heart. Take a little wider stance and sink a little deeper here. And you're going to take warrior two. Now for warrior two, the hands are opening out to the sides and you're reaching, the hands are reaching away from each other, pressing into the outer edge of the back foot and look ahead of you. and straighten the leg rotate the left foot in and now we're going to open the right foot forward and reach out warrior two on the opposite side and try to lengthen the body up coming back up and now the feet are fa facing directly forward begin to slowly fold forward in a forward bend once you're bending forward enough see if you can grab the floor you can bend the knees if you need to if your hamstrings are still opening not flexible you can keep them bent or if you can keep them straight and touch the floor then you can do that and hold here breathe great let's walk the hands to the front of the room and step the feet back in plank one more plank lower the knees down on the ground lower slowly onto your belly inhale come up cobra and exhale in child pose inhale coming all the way up to a seated we are going to come onto the knees so the knees are going to be hip width apart you are going to bring your hands onto your lower back and begin to walk your elbows in towards each other which action will open the chest from here press glide with your hands down on down over the muscle so that you're extending the tailbone down and lift your lower back away from your fingertips so as if your lower back is trying to elongate as we're lifting the chest up opening the chest up and looking up towards the ceiling keep the elbows pressing towards each other
and coming out of this hands on the floor in front of you tuck your toes under and rest in downward facing dog And let's walk the feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward bend. You can keep a micro bend to a big bend in your knees. And let's bring the hands behind us. Interlace the fingers. Press the hands away from your back. And... Bring the chest to parallel to the floor here. Open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling and lengthen, elongate through the crown of the head. Slowly coming back to center and over to the opposite side. And back to center. And one more time, chair pose. Inhale, coming up to standing, and exhale the hands over the heart. One more time, we're going to take a wide step back, and we're going to learn one more standing pose in power and vinyasa and interval yoga, and this is called triangle pose. We're going to extend, open the arms out, lifting the arches of the feet one more time, spread the toes open, and tuck the tailbone under and reach way ahead of you here you're pressing the hips back and reaching way ahead of you lower the hand down onto your shin bone and reach with the right hand up elongating both sides of the torso here and reach with the right hand ahead of you Let's bring the right hand on the hip, coming up, keeping the core strong and rotate, pivot onto your heels and turn the right foot towards the back of the room and the left foot in and we're going to reach with the hands out, reach way ahead of you and begin to reach as far out as you can, tuck the tailbone under and lower down, right hand onto the right shin bone and reach in front of you very good and from here you're going to look down and bring both hands on the floor and bring the feet parallel to each other and exhale down shake your head Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, right hand on the floor, take your left arm up. Left hand on the floor, take the right arm up. Right hand down, left arm up. Left hand down right hand up exhale both hands on the floor point your toes out bend your knees and come up into a white legged squat so it's plie squat here and you're going to open your toes out press your knees back and look down and make sure that your toes and your knees are aligning they're facing in the same direction there pointed out making sure that your toes are not opening way too wide if your knees can't open all the way back and sit back here and come out of this and sit back one more time and coming back up face the front of the room lower the hands on the floor and step back into plank 
lower the knee, so on the ground, hold plank. We're getting familiar with standing poses and with plank today. So this is a big part of our work will be standing poses and plank. Plank is going to be something we'll just learn to love. It strengthens your core and it's one of the best body weight exercises you will ever, ever learn. And lower down onto your belly, elbows in, Inhale, Cobra, and exhale, this time uh, as you exhale you're going to come up and sit back onto your heels. Now, let's bring the legs in front of us and we're going to, we're going to, the legs are extended in front of us, you can grab a strap or you can see how far you can reach. If you can't reach your toes, you can grab your shin bones. If you can grab your toes, grab your toes. If your toes are way too far, you can use a strap or just hold on to your shin bones. Inhale your hands over the head and exhale, lower down. As far down as you can, try not to round your back too much and just hold here, either holding your strap or it's perfectly fine to hold onto your shin bones. We are stretching the hamstrings. Inhale, coming up. And we're going to bend the left knee reach with your right hand up exhale the right hand onto grab onto your knee onto your leg and look behind you flex your right foot and look behind you elongating through the crown of the head here and just really try to lengthen the spine exhale soften the belly and twist Twists are excellent for improving digestion, for toning the abdominal wall. Inhale, coming back up. And we're going to bring the right, um, the left foot over the right knee. Inhale, reach up, flex both feet and lower that knee down. Exhale, lower down. holding on to your shin bone or grabbing your foot or you can use a strap. Now you're going to feel this in your left hip. This is opening your hip and you're stretching your hamstring as well. So just breathe here and allow your body to open over time. Inhale, coming up and exhale the hands down and bend the right foot inhale reach with your left hand and exhale grab your leg and look behind you try to keep your chest open your shoulders back and down and keep lifting elongating through the crown of the head And breathe. Exhale, soften the belly. Inhale, coming back up. And we're going to flex both feet and bring the right ankle over the left inhale reach ahead of you and allow the right knee to lower down and bend forward breathe breathe into your right hip into your left hamstring
focus on nice slow deep breath Inhale, coming back up, reaching over the head, exhale, lower down, and now we're going to lower down onto our back. So round the back and slowly begin to lower down, lower all the way down onto your back. And let's bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug and just rock side to side here. See if you can flex your feet and see if you can grab the outer edges of your feet. If you can grab the outer edges of your feet, you will grab your ankle and press your knees down in this pose is called happy baby holding the outer edges of the feet or the big toes and pressing the knees down. It's a hip opener as well and it's a great pose for the lower back. And let's extend the left leg down on the ground, right knee into the chest, open the right hand out, keep the right shoulder on the floor and begin to bring the left knee, uh, the right knee all the way over to your left, look all over to your right, full spinal rotation. Inhale, coming back up. Drop your circles with your right knee. And bring the left knee into your chest. Extend the right leg down. Open the left arm out. Keep the left shoulder down onto the floor and begin to bring the left knee all the way over to the right. Look all the way to your left and just focus on your exhalation. And focus on your exhalations here softening and allowing your body to relax, great, inhale coming back up and let's draw a few circles with the left knee great, from here you're going to step your feet hip width apart and bring your elbows by your rib cage palms of the hands facing each other, hands up and keep your feet hip width apart and lift your body up keeping the feet hip width apart the entire time and you can lift the toes off the floor here bridge pose, this is called bridge holding here in a mild back extension 
lift a little higher if you can exhale slowly lower down one vertebra at a time and you're going to bring the soles of the feet together and relax here drop the shoulders down and stay here for a few moments allowing yourself to just observe your breath and allowing yourself to be present aware of your breath mindful of your breath 